ربنا <تصفيق> اللهم يا بلادنا جنب يا بلادنا آمنا من مائنا يا تارس قار قدن من كل مكان ونجنا من كل بلا وقلا وتاون وسنا وباء تعيم الزم ذلك بلادنا قاسة وبلاد المسلمين عامة ورمة الله وصلى على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والقاتم لما سبق الناس لراق بلاق Airline, country manager, Brussels Airline, members of the Diplomatic Corp and Consular Corps, members of board of Nero Company Limited, religious leaders here present, the Director General of Gambia Civil Aviation Authority and staff, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, all protocol duly observed. A warm welcome to the inauguration of Nero Ground Handling Facility at Banjul International Airport, an occasion that fills our heart with pride and gratitude. Today, as we stand on the corpse of new era, I extend my gratitude to those who have played pivotal roles in turning this vision into a reality. A momentous occasion that has been made possible through combined efforts of many dedicated individuals. First and foremost, a heartful welcome to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, President Adam Abar. Your leadership and support exemplified through the collaboration between the public and private sector has been instrumental in making this investment a reality. Your belief in the Gambian youth and in my vision through government leadership is a shining example of a true leadership. It's a shining example of true leadership, democracy, and hope for economic development of our country, the Gambia. This facility that you inaugurate today stand as a testament to the possibilities that arise through the collaboration between the public and private sector through your exemplary leadership. Thank you, your pre thank you Mr. President, and welcome to Neil. I extend my deepest gratitude to my family, the steadfast pillar of my journey, your unwavering support and encouragement and love have fueled my ambition. To my exceptional staff and friends, your commitment has been the driving force behind the realization of this dream. Today's celebration is as much yours as it is mine. I am honored to extend a warm welcome to the CEO of Aska Airline, Mr. Azayas Waldem, Waldemariam Haley, whose presence add a significance to this occasion. We look forward to a collaborative partnership that not only benefit our companies, but also contribute to the growth and development of the aviation sector. I also welcome Mr. Rainer Kepner, country manager of Brussels Airline. We are grateful for entrusting Nero, the ground and passenger handling services of your noble company. We look forward to a collaborative partnership that benefits our companies and improve, and improve the services at the Banjul International Airport. A special acknowledgement is due to the remarkable constructor team led by Abdullah Kamate, accompanied by talented Gambian young engineers. Your expertise and dedication, hard work turned our vision into impressive reality 
that we witnessed today. Thank you for being an architect to Nero's success. Thank you, Abdullah. A heartful thank to the Gambia Teachers Union Cooperative Credit Union for your incredible financial support. Without your financial support, this dream would not have been this smooth. Thank you, GTUCCU, and welcome to NERA. Today, as we celebrate, I would like to dedicate this achievement to the remarkable two individuals who shaped my journey. To my late mother, may her soul rest in peace. I said to soul, as a, re a resilient vegetable vendor in Sarakunda Market, your hard work and determination instilling in me this perseverance needed to achieve this dream. Thank you, Mom, and may your soul rest in peace. And to my father, who is here present, Ahmed Chan, a former chronic teacher at Lajikunda Primary School, whose unwa unwavering perseverance, humility, and honesty have guided my path. Thank you for teaching me, for taking no as an answer, and believe in hard work. Thank you, Dad. To the inspiring young entrepreneurs of the Gambia, I encourage you to invest in your country and seize the abundant opportunities available. Let this moment be an inspiration for you to dream big, work hard, and contribute to the prosperity of our nation. In closing, let's, let's, let us not celebrate an inauguration of a facility, but a shared accomplishment of a community that believes in progress, collaboration, and a potential within each one of us. Thank you for part of being this historic historic day, and I welcome you all to NIL. Thank you. Given this opportunity to address this epical gathering, circa 20 to 30 BC, Marcus Vitruvio Polio, a great Roman architect, engineer, and writer, presented his treatise to Emperor Caesar Augustus. In it, he established for a building to be so considered it must fulfill a triad of characteristics, famitas, utilitas, and venustas. In simple terms, the structure must be firm, functional, and beautiful. This triad forms the threat of our approach to design and construction at Oibe. About a year ago, when I visited this site with Sleeman, it was a savanna, a grassland. Looking at the GIO cargo complex here, I said to him, you've got to be good neighbors. We can afford to put a structure that will be in total contrast with our neighboring structure. We have to create a harmonious whole. Dense thought, in form and in many aspects, into earlier our choice of material palette, color tones, light canopy overhang, and angle edges, I reckon that harmony is accentuated. It's complex comprises of 1,000 square meter RCC frame structure for the admin building, 800 square meter portal frame structure for the technical department, combined reinforced and mass concrete pavement area of 5,200 square meter to serve as parking and storage for ground support equipment and unit load devices at the airside. A mobile foil station, green leaf space punctuated with variety of ornamental trees, polymer coated chain link mesh fence to the periphery, integrated building services, etc. Your Excellency, within a timeline of one year, through teamship and hard work, we're able to design and build this entire complex, notwithstanding the many delays in sipping of materials and also post major events. Your Excellency, to have this complex, financed by a Gambian investor, designed and constructed by very young Gambians, staffed by a Gambian workforce, and also as we align the inauguration, and also as we align the inauguration of this complex with our 59th independence anniversary, it's not this very reassuring for our independence as a country, for our republic, and for our sovereignty. But today, I will serve my account about the complex, as Herbert Hoover put it, quote unquote, the work of engineering is in the open for all to see. Rather, I would like to talk about the importance of the Gambian Brotherhood, the power of Gambians coming together, 
banding together and the plethora of opportunities and possibilities that could be achieved through these. A few years ago, when I met Suleiman, our first work was only some renovation works, correct roof leakages, replace sanitary fixtures, etc. This was the Nero restaurant facility at Kairava Avenue, formerly Four Seasons Restaurant. At that time, we were both perhaps at the embryonic stage of our businesses. Since then, by the will of the Almighty God, we both enjoyed exponential growth. From Nero restaurant to Nero in-flight in catering facility, which is just flanking the complex here, and today we're here to launch the ground handling facility. I solemnly pray that the list shall continue. I often say it. If it were not for the patronage of the Medicis and the Popes during the Renaissance period, the world will never see the works and the extraordinary brilliance of the great Renaissance architects, engineers, and writers like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Brunelleschi, to name but a few. Thank you, Suleiman, for not being a client only, but a patron. I'm not blowing your trumpet, but truth be said, you are an exemplar in deeds and words and an embodiment of the good Gambian brother. The Renaissance period is long gone, when it all used to be combined in one man. The complexities of our time would inhibit us from treading on that lane. I want to thank my associates, especially my good friend, Mr. Keba Omar Jajasi, for the structural design works. I want to thank my able supervisors, Babu, Boj, Manjang, sitting over there, our suppliers, our tradesmen, our plethora of subcontractors, and the entire team. It's through your toil and sweat day and night, rain or sunshine, that by the will of the Almighty God, we're able to bring this project to complete fruition. If there's any modicum of success, I accept it not wholly for myself, but on behalf of this entire team. Finally, I commend your excellency for your leadership in businesses and young Gambian entrepreneurs like myself thrive, for creating a conducive investable space in the country. I solemnly implore your excellency through your width and side guidelines for government to explore clear-cut ways of supporting and maintaining Gambian talent. The drift is very serious, and this is quite important. Projects of this nature serve as a repertoire of technical knowledge and skill set, and also an antidote to the migration crisis and brain drain seriously affecting the country. Our aim at OIBA is to produce a generation of young Gambian talents in all spheres of the industry. We intend to operate like an artist atelier rather than a commercial business, helping to train and mold Gambians in all facets of architecture, construction, and engineering industry. A case in point is this project. Prior to this project, many team members did not know about bristle seeding devices, portal frame structures, cotton walling, to name but a few. But today, they can take up these responsibilities in I mean, in different countries. Your Excellency, the construction industry is a cost and resource driven industry. Many Gambian starters like myself may not have the required formal threshold to be awarded government projects, but that does not translate to lacking the necessary technical capacity, skill set, and resolve to do such works. On behalf of all young, Gambian, young Gambians in the construction realm, I implore solemnly you prop us up. Thank you very much. Really very encouraging as well. The next statement is by an airline who believed in Nero and really was one of our first patrons. It's my pleasure to call Isaiah's Walter Mariam Halu to give a statement. Excellency, President Adama Baru, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Excellencies, religious leaders, dignitaries, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nanga Def. Africa is such a beautiful continent. It has nature, culture, history, wildlife, people, resources, everything. In fact, people say that 
60% of uncultivated arable land on the planet Earth is in Africa. For the future of humanity, if food is going to be a concern, Africa will be the answer. 95% of planet's gold and diamond is on the continent of Africa. Africa is just like a beautiful young lady that everyone wants to marry. <laughs> Coming to the smiling coast, the Gambia, it has nature, coastline, hospitality, tourism, young population, and demographic dividend. And it has got beautiful aviation infrastructures and with the young entrepreneurs like Suleiman Chan, what we are inaugurating today is also a testament. And the Gambian government's attention for aviation infrastructure, tourism as job creator, impacting all other sectors, tourism and investment, is highly appreciated. Nero, as a ground handling and catering aviation company, this kind of service on the continent is not in abundant supply. So Gambia is one of the lucky ones to have authentic homegrown company, aviation company, owned, managed, and run by Africans. <laughs> Mr. Suleiman Cham is a young entrepreneur, a job creator, having his mission to contribute to the development of aviation. He is giving proficient service for catering and handling for ASKAI. ASKAI trusted him to give him more than one uh, aviation service to be catered by him. So this kind of uh, initiative needs to be encouraged and supported by the government and by the society at large. ASKAI is a pan-African airline. It flies daily to Banjul, facilitating trade, tourism, investment, cargo, and other things, and connecting Gambia, the Gambia, with 28 other destinations in West Central, uh, South, and East Africa. ASKAI is owned and operated by all Africans. This shows that Africans can handle any high-tech industry like aviation, like any other part of the world does. With the support of aviation, experts like Nero and Mr. Suleiman, we are committed to be serving the continent and the Gambia, well connected and integrated with Africa and beyond. Thank you, Excellency President. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the Chief of Staff, Honorable Maud K. Sise. I, I didn't see him, but as typical of the Sise Kundas, like the other Sise at the back, he may have been busy with breakfast. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, would like to invite His Excellency the President to present for us four certificates to very deserving individuals who have been very active with the project here today. Your Excellency, we crave your indulgence to present the following certificates to these personalities. Mr. Abdullah Mboj, I hope the protocol is ready. Mr. Abdullah Mboj, Mr. Lamin Manjang. <laughs> Mr. Babu Ture be on standby. We have to be really quick with the ceremony today. It's a Friday. <laughs> Babu Ture. And of course, the very talented and eloquent Abdullahi Konate.
Thank you, Your Excellency. Very appreciated. Thank you very much, Gambia Police Band. Kabakel, one song. Why well, wouldn't go to Morsa Jolad? Kabakel, please.
blame Honorable Ibrahim Asila because I see him speaking to Echi and since he's half Ghanaian, I'm sure he's his influence. <laughs> but thank you so much, Ghana Town. We appreciate the performance. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you.
Very cool, huh? Yeah. Members Bana. of the Diplomatic yeah. and the Council of Corp. Yeah. Members of the Board of Neo Company Limited. Yeah. Religious leaders. Yeah. The Director General, Gambia yeah. Civil Aviation yeah. Authority and Staff. Yeah. Distinguished guests. Yeah. Members of the press. Yeah. It is with profound pleasure. That I preside over the official opening of the ground handling services complex of Nero Company Limited. And this is part of the events marking the 59th Independent Day anniversary of the Gambia at Grace for the occasion. I feel honored, therefore, to be part of this historic event. Before proceeding, I must welcome the distinguished Chief Executive Officers from ASKI Airlines in the smiling coast of Africa. Welcome and thank you for being here. You have clearly demonstrated the importance you attach to this laudable project and your friendship and partnership with Nilo Company Limited. I extend similar appreciation to the company board members and congratulate the chief executive officer and his team on this huge achievement. In the spirit of this celebration, I also convey deep gratitude to the founder whose love for country gives rise to the, um, to the company. This investment was not only us the economic landscape of the Gambia, but also set the precedence for innovation and success in the African aviation industry. Of course, I acknowledge the remarkable efforts of the construction team of talented young engineers led by Honorable Mr. Abdullah Konash. They are committed to excellence which has resulted in this admirable state-of-the-art facility is a testament to the potential that lies within our youth. Within the aviation industry here, Nero Company Limited now stands as a signing example of what can, what can be achieved through innovation and innovation. We acknowledge with joy that this initiative has created openings for employment and will contribute to the economic prosperity of the nation. Of course, the rise of Nero signals the promise of growth and collaboration. It also portrays the capacity of our youth to initiate positive change and elevate our nation on the global stage. We are hopeful that the company will flourish will become a model in the aviation industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Banyun International Airport now hosts a company that goes beyond mere business. It is a symbol of progress. By focusing on in-flight catering and ground handling services, Nuno will clearly support the aviation sector and play a vital role in achieving the efficiency of air travel. This is expected to foster an environment conducive to economic advancement and job creation. As we innovate this magnificent edifice, let us recognize the significance of Nero Company Limited in influencing the future of our youth and the nation. May it serve and inspire us to inspire all our young entrepreneurs to dream big, work hard, and contribute meaningfully to the economic growth of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly to no commission this complex, wow. noting that it houses the operations of the ground handling services offered by NIRO. Gambians who doubt themselves, especially the young people, should take the leaf from the book of the profile and take risks to create employment for themselves 
and for others. Instead of waiting for government intervention, the role of government is to create the enabling environment that enables the growth and the development of investors. Increasingly, in Atlanta, Hero Company Limited started a restaurant in 2015 and expanded to incorporate catering services for interested players. It is amazing that within nine years, the catering company is going to include in flight catering to airlines. Notable among which is the A-Sky Airlines. It is wise that the in-flight catering component of the company is located within the airport premises. The inclusion of ground handling services this year has created employment for over 200 young Gambians. This is the type of investment my government advocates. You who believe that they can they cannot succeed except by going to Europe through deadly journeys should learn from these examples. As Gambian citizens, it is our responsibility to develop the country. Outsiders will not do so for us. Once again, I thank the Gambian government and the whole Gambian society for the You need to open up to allow people. This UP. This UP.